All right, today I want to show you some of the basic stuff in main stage three that will get you up and running from day one. Okay, I want to start by showing you uh, the different sections that, that main stage has and let's just do that right now. Over here, we have our channel strip section. Over here, we have our workspace with screen controls that lets you control everything that's in your concert. Down here, we have uh, the inspector. Uh, that changes depending on the selection. Okay. And over here we have our patch list section. Up here we have our uh, activity monitor. And over here we have our toolbar. These are the different modes that main stage has. Layout mode, edit mode, and perform mode. I'm going to close this concert and start from from a blank concert to really show you uh, how to do everything by yourself so we don't have things that we don't know what to use it for so I'm gonna close this when you close uh, your first concert in main stage or when you try to open main stage this is the window you're gonna get and I'm gonna choose my blank template double clicking and uh, if you want to go and download this uh, a blank template to follow each step that I'm doing um, click the link in the description below and that will get you to the site where you can download the blank concert okay here we are we have a blank concert click over here and create a new set and then click on the plus button and create a patch so these are the three different levels uh, in main stage. The concert level, the one on the top. This one right here with the little folder uh, is the set level. And down here is our patch level. I'm going to explain this a little more later, but for now, uh, this is what we need to know. Okay, we have our patch level selected. And we're going to go down here under instrument. And here is the different type of instrument that main stage has to offer. So let's go pick a piano, Steinway Grand Piano. And there you go. Um, and we have our first instrument in main stage. Okay, and, and, and this is what comes up in our channel strip area section. This is a uh, where we have our instrument and all the effects it is using and uh, but we are going to go into details about that later uh, we can do everything at once <laughs> so we can create another patch by double clicking here or by clicking the plus button and all of this uh, patch is going to be under this set, let's just call this uh, my first set and they are down here. Here's another way to call a patch by selecting a blank patch and clicking the plus button over here. Instrument, keyboard, just make sure you have your keyboard connected and create and it creates a blank channel strip where we can go over here and pick one of the instrument just like we did with the first patch but we can go here to uh, in the instrument slot and pick any of the instrument that, uh, that's built in in main stage so let's say uh, I pick this synthesizer ES2 synthesizer and you can choose a preset by clicking over here and and going down here let's just say a pad set dreams uh, it's a little loud and as you see there's a difference between this patch and this one this one came with all the effects with reverbs and everything and this one with no effects and I'm gonna show you why I did that later but right now we have two patches P1 
piano and a pad. Now, uh, there is we we there is no way to control those uh, sounds, those volumes, and everything. So we need to go to the layout mode, and here is where we can just drag and drop uh, uh, all the uh, all the controls. So just click on all controls. We don't have to drag a keyboard on our screen, but we can and place it right here. And you can resize them. Let's see if things is letting me do this right now. Uh, never mind. Let's just leave it like that. And it comes with like seven layers. We don't need to see these layers right here. So just click on it and uncheck this little box right here where it says display keyboard layers boom we don't need to see that it's just taking a lot of space in our concert so pick a keyboard depending on, on, on your physical keyboard MIDI controller so 21 I mean 25 49 61 and 76 and I'm sorry and, and 88 I have an 88 keys keyboard but uh, I just picked the 61 keys for now um, but what I really want is uh, eight knobs because I have eight knobs on my keyboard. So let's just drag a knob on our screen and we can resize it and put it in the center. Okay. And I'm going to need eight faders because I have eight faders on my keyboard. But you don't need to pick a uh, group ones, uh, you can pick uh, individual ones by just clicking here and dragging, drag and drop. So we have that. Now I need eight buttons. And we just take eight buttons right here. And I just have it right there. And now go back to the edit mode. Um, before we go we go there, let's just uh, drag a sustain pedal. Uh, doesn't let me resize. There you go. All right, going back to the edit mode now. Let's go back to our first patch, which is the piano. Now, if we click on the first uh, fader right here, slider, and click on map parameter, and click on the volume right here, make sure you set this to 0 dB and then map parameters again. Now we can control this volume with this slider right here. Alright, so now I want to be able to do that from my physical keyboard. So we are going to go back to the layout mode. We have our uh, slider selected and hit assign and move your first slider see it's moving on the screen I'm moving the slider on my physical keyboard and hit assign again and now we can go back to the edit mode and now I'm controlling the volume and my piano patch from my keyboard without having to touch the mouse so And that's how you assign everything in main stage. And let's just go here, map parameter, and mute. And uh, map parameter again. And we can mute our channel by clicking the button right here. Now let's assign that to our keyboard. We have the uh, button selected. Hit assign. And push one of the buttons on your keyboard hit assign again now we go back to the edit mode and we can mute our channel from our MIDI controller now let's do the same thing with uh, we are now up here go to the layout mode hit assign and tweak a knob on your keyboard Sign again. Same thing with the second knob. Assign. Tweak your second knob on your keyboard. Assign. Hit the third knob. 
hit assign uh, tweak the turn up on your keyboard so you can do that with anything that's in your uh, workspace um, you can do do that with all the uh, faders assign and control the faders uh, select the slider hit assign and move a physical slider on your keyboard and do that with all eight sliders now we can go to the edit mode and I'm moving all of those um, sliders on my uh, workspace and I can mute and unmute from my MIDI keyboard without touching a mouse I just show you how to do that um, how to assign that to control your instrument, your patches in main stage. All right, I have to stop here because I want to keep this video short for you guys. Uh, and uh, uh, what's left, I'm going to have to talk uh, in the next video. So, see you there.